I worked for Community Legal Aid in Worcester, Massachusetts, and they serve Central and Western Massachusetts um, in a variety of different capacities, family law, elder law, benefits. Um, but I was lucky enough to be in the housing unit doing some mortgage foreclosure prevention work, uh, fair housing, and landlord-tenant. I think one client that really stuck out in my mind was a client who had been struggling with homelessness and some mental disorders and had really in the last few years um, gotten help, gotten therapy, was in a group home and was looking to be independent and had applied to a housing authority and gotten denied because his application was incomplete. And I was able to sit down with him, complete his application and go in with him to represent him during the hearing. And out of all the cases I did that summer, it wasn't the most time intensive, but I think it was important to me because I saw how important it was to my client that someone was there listening to him and someone was there being his advocate, which he hadn't ever had in the past. So just to be able to be there for him really impacted me a lot. I would tell others that it's important not only because it allows students to give legal services that individuals otherwise wouldn't have access to, but it's important because it exposes fellows to... Um, I'm going to start that again. <laughs> oh, okay. What would you tell others about the Voice for Justice Fellowship Program? I would tell them it's not only important because it gives indigent individuals access to legal services that they otherwise wouldn't have access to, but it also allows for students to be exposed to those injustice issues that are out there. It gives them um, exposure to individuals dealing with poverty, lack of education, mental health disorders, and being with your clients and experiencing and seeing their struggles really impacts you and, and stays with you and will impact, I know, my career and others no matter what I do in the future, and I'll never forget that experience. Sure. I worked at the Innocence Project down in Tallahassee, Florida. The Innocence Project works with individuals who wish to prove their innocence through the use of DNA testing. The first was a convicted felon who actually is an exoneree now. He spent 24 years in jail uh, for a crime he didn't commit for rape, robbery, and kidnapping. And he told me a lot of stories about his time in jail. He told me a lot of stories about things that he was able to do now that he was released about a daughter who he had never uh, really had an opportunity to get to know and who he now had to begin to have a relationship with. It moved me because I realized how much people's freedoms, how much their liberty was taken away from them by being wrongfully convicted. Testing. I also had the opportunity to do a lot of writing. I was able to write a post-DNA conviction motion, uh, which was a fantastic experience. Tell me a story about your experience that touched you or changed you. Um, I actually had a, a compelling story um, when I worked in there over the three months. We worked on a huge case. It was um, a post-degree custody case. And the other side's client actually had DID, which is Dissociative Identity Disorder, or also known as um, Multiple Personality Disorder. And uh, there, she, our client was actually um, was a domestic violence victim. He emotionally and physically abused her. There was also allegation that he sexually abused her kids. So after we were done with the trial, she was so thankful that we helped her because otherwise she would have to have done that herself. And he was represented by attorney. Of course, she had to leave him. She didn't have a job. She was the primary caregiver of the children and everything. So she didn't have any money. So it was, she was just so grateful and it was so emotional. I mean, we both were crying at the end of the, the trial because she was just so relieved that it was over. I would tell others about the Voice for Justice um, program that it is a rewarding experience. It is amazing helping people and how grateful they are because if you don't represent them, then they're going to have to represent themselves in court. And it, people with no legal knowledge are completely clueless and, they are, and it's overwhelming for them and they have no idea what to do. The organization I was placed in is the Keldon Federation of America in Southfield, Michigan. Uh, the Chaldean Federation, the primary purpose is to help refugees, mostly of Chaldean descent, but they help all uh, immigrants and all refugees that come to the United States through different organizations, through different countries. During my experience at the Chaldean Federation, uh, I think every day there was a rewarding experience. To hear the people's stories that you're helping, you're, you're assisting them with filling out legal paperwork, trying to get them uh, legal status here in the country, because as a refugee, they're kind of in a, in a transient state. They're not officially residents of the United States, so you're trying to get them established here as citizens of the country. 
So part of your goal is to, part of the forums, you have to listen to their stories, listen to their struggles. And so you hear horrendous stories about people being kidnapped or friends or family members uh, being murdered. And fortunately, we live in a country where we don't have to fear for that. But they all, everyone that I assist, assisted this past summer had to deal with those struggles this summer. Uh, one of the places that I served my fellowship at was Freedom House, which is a refugee shelter in southwest Detroit. Um, they mostly take in individuals who are um, fleeing their countries after being persecuted for whatever reason. And, um, and so I mostly did asylum immigration law there. Um, and I also in, uh, sorry, served my fellowship at the International Institute of Metropolitan Detroit where they mostly focused on family-based immigration. So anyone, um, I would, you know, uh, encourage people to apply for them and to get involved in the community, mostly because it's probably one of the best ways to gain the most legal experience and at the same time giving back to the community. There's, it's a two-way street. You benefit as a law student in developing your own professional career and your expertise and your and just your skills, um, but at the same time. Um, the community is also gaining from that benefit which you're uh, getting from it.